The following program is classified PG. We recommend parental guidance. For quite a while now, people have been trying to get me to put a cork in it. Well, after 10 years of cricket, I've decided to take my life in a completely different direction. This is uncorked. I'm Stuart McGill, and I'm going to take you on a little bit of a spin around Australia's greatest wine regions. We're going to find out who's behind the wines and who's behind the vines. I'm visiting McLaren Vale, one of the world's premier Shiraz growing regions. Other popular varieties grown here are Cabernet Sauvignon, Grenache and Chardonnay. But things are changing and there are a lot more new and interesting wines coming out of this area. McLaren Vale is in South Australia, about 35 kilometres south of Adelaide on the Gulf of St Vincent. McLaren Vale has a great winemaking tradition, but it's the sons and daughters of previous winemaking families that are actually starting to inject a new enthusiasm and passion into their vines and their grapes. McLaren Vale is where the vines meet the sea. The sea breeze keeps the frosts away and helps the temperature stay nice and steady, which means winemakers can grow pretty much whatever they want here. Toby Beckers from Paxton Wines is an award-winning grape grower. He was Viticulturist of the Year for 2006. He's the man behind the flavour within the bottle. Clarence Rail's a, a, got a great diversity of soils and climate and uh, really allows us to, to, to be a versatile wine region. We can make a lot of different styles of wine here, you know, even from the same varieties. OK, so even from the same varieties, so that's quite interesting. What exactly do you mean by that? Um, you can take fruit from different parts of the valley, particularly uh, uh, on the red soils down, down here over limestone. They'll give you the intense, uh, what you imagine to be McLaren Vale style of wine. But if you go back further into the valley, into the, the beach sands of Blort Springs, you get perfume and, and violets and very delicate wines. And, it, and it's our ability to blend all of those together that really makes McLaren Vale so, so reliable as a region. What you're saying is that it's the actual variety of, uh, of, of growing conditions that you have that make those Shirazes so consistent from year to year. Exactly right. So, we're, you know, the, the winemakers in McLaren are master blenders of, of understanding those tiny little parcels and putting them together year on year to, to give us a consistent style of wine. And we don't typically have a bad vintage in McLaren mm -hmm. Fantastic. What we're really interested in here is not so much about how it looks, but what these plants and uh, uh, are doing to the soil and, and we're really trying to encourage soil health by leaving this vegetation here as long as we can into the season. We, we really try and let nature run its course and the whole motivation for this is to uh, get maximum flavour in the fruit. It's all about flavour. Um, you've tried a tomato that's grown hydroponically. Uh, you've tried one grown out of your own veggie garden. Healthy soils gives you fruit that tastes better and that's what you see in the wine. Oh, the soils are definitely healthy. We've got lots of things living in there. It's always a good sign. There's plenty <laughs> of worms down here. Eh? Yes. What does drought mean to you here? The biodynamic side of things really builds our soils and allows them to hold more water at the start of the season. So they're a bigger pot. When that's gone though, we need, in this region, typically to rely on irrigation. There's a system now which is bringing recycled water uh, into this region uh, and taking even more pressure off the natural water sources. So as close as we can be in Australia, we're, um, we're a wine region that's, that's almost waterproof, if you like. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Toby recommends you try the Paxton 2006 Triple A Shiraz Grenache. Its palate is spicy, sweet berry fruit, flavour filled with silky tannins. It costs around $23. Yeah. 